Yeah. They... What? Dude! No! Wait! Hold on! No, that's not... Hisuian Samurott V-Star is a Pokemon that has a lot of potential. The combination of its Merciless Blade move plus Moon Cleave Star, you can even throw a Choice Belt on top of that, has the potential to hit for up to 290 damage. However, Hisuian Samurott is kind of underperformed this whole time just because it's a little awkward of a deck to play and I don't know if anyone's truly found the best way to play Samurai. There are there are decks that feature Samurai and Teleon. There are some that feature Weezing. And I've got a, a different way to play Samurai that I haven't really seen other people play, except for Taylor Lowe. Shout out to Taylor Lowe for the inspiration of this deck. And I wanted to share this with you. I'm Jet from InThirdPerson.com. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let's talk about Hisuian Samurai. Hisuian Samurai for only two energy does 110 damage. And if your opponent's active Pokemon already has damage on it, it does another 110 damage for 220. And in order to get that extra damage on, we run two Galarian Zigzagoons and four Nets. So you're going to play the Zigzagoon, scoop it up, ping other Pokemon on the board in order to get that initial damage in so that Hisuian Samurott can swing for full damage as often as you can. We've got a 4-3 line of Samurott V and V-Star in this deck. We've got two Zigzagoons for ping damage, and we've got the Absol in here as well. Turn one going second, its swirling disaster move is great for putting 10 damage on all of your opponent's Pokemon, and 10 damage is not a lot, but you're pretty much marking them to get knocked out by Samurott later in the game. If it doesn't get knocked out right away, you can use a scoop up net to get it out of there, or you can just let it get knocked out and then take the bigger KO on the following turn. And the, the big difference with this deck versus some other Samurott decks you may have seen, we're running Bibarel. And Bibarel is a great support engine, drawing up to five cards um, with its ability, Industrious Incisors. This is a great way to keep your deck flowing and helps to get the cards that you need to keep the momentum up and running. We've also got, as, as further support to draw more cards, we've got Crobat, we've got Luminion to get one specific trainer from the, from the deck into your hand. And I've also got a Pumpkaboo here. In my testing, this is one of the differences between mine and Taylor Lowe's version, is that Path to the Peak is a really popular stadium right now, and it shuts off Moon Cleave Star. And you really don't want Path in play so you can get that move off when you need to, because it can be the difference between one hit KOing a V-Star and not. And I figure with four scoop up nets, and you will be able to use Pumpkaboo, get that path to the peak out, and, and then swing with Moon Cleave Star. And you can use a scoop up net later to get it out of there if need be. So this is something we're going to experiment with today. In terms of other sort of support cards, we've got four Dark Patches to accelerate energy a little quicker. Po Pokemon Search in terms of four Quick Balls, four Ultra Balls, one Evo Incense. Again, I've mentioned the four scoop up nets to move our basic Pokemon around and, and reuse Zigzagoon. Two Temple of Sinnoh. I haven't really been able to find a great stadium that synergizes with this. I've tried Gapejaw Bog, but then your Pokemon also take damage. So we've got two Temple of Sinnoh for the time being. Feel free to play around with stadium counts here and figure out which ones work for you. Three copies of Boss. Three copies of Marnie, four Professor's Research, and one Raihan in case you get caught with your pants down and you, you're just stuck with a Samurott with no energy on it. You can use it to accelerate that energy, grab the evolution, and then attach the second energy to keep on attacking. We also got two balloons, two choice belts, and nine dark energy. All right, let's try our hand at making this Samurott deck work. Fan, lapsed fan yeah at this point most of my my wrestling consumption is me reading reddit and reading uh the things that happened and me reacting to it and that's it this is a terrible starting hand by the way oof oh no and the battle vip pass almost certain this is oh okay some sort of lost zone deck we've been seeing a lot of new tech today this feels like we're up against the giratina and that's not ideal at the very least we can get a samurott down 
And oh my goodness, they've got another battle VIP pass. Oh, yeah, there's Giratina. We did pull a bunch of those today. That's maybe a next week thing when we, we try some Giratina V-Star. But I'm excited. We had a pretty good pack opening earlier today. We've got a 2-3 line of Kyurum. We've got some Giratinas. We, I think... Okay, so they don't have any energy yet. We're going to have to discard all this stuff. Ugh. Because I think it is paramount that we get at least a Samurott on the board. And let's see what we can do. Okay, we get a second Samurott down. That's nice. We get the Zigzagoon ping, which is amazing. We also get... Oh... Is it worth getting rid of this balloon? I do like having the pivot, but I'm going to go and put down a Bidoof here. We probably have... Okay, no, we haven't... And then we draw. And let's get some energy, please. No, we didn't get any energy! No! Okay. Um, this is awful. This is awful. We're going to retreat into the Zigzagoon. How do we pull half our deck and not draw a single energy? <laughs> oh. So Kazron says... Oh, hold on. Let's catch up with David the Destroyer. I think why my fave wrestler was Tajiri, the Japanese dude. With yes, uh, Tajiri was hype. And oh, snap. Bespar, Bespar, and thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, viewers. How are you doing? Were y'all playing Pokemon as well, or were you playing something else? And welcome. My name is uh, Jet from, from InThirdPerson.com. Personal look. Where's the button? There it is. In thirdperson.com, personal look at video games, board games, and other nerdy pursuits. Let me give you a high five for everybody that's here. I hope you are all doing well. We're about to get bodied by a Giratina deck here, unfortunately. One, two, three. They're going to have five energy. Ugh. Okay, so hopefully what we're hoping for here is if we can get, if we can dark patch our, we need a scoop up net. We need to dark patch. We need two energy. We got a dark patch. Uh, maybe we get a bot. Like, I need all the things right now. This is terrible. Oof, and we lose. We're down a prize already. Awful. Okay. At least we have Luminion still as our pivot, and we do get double Samurott. And... Sure. Let's get... Uh, I don't want to get rid of the quick ball, but I think we need to get a, a Zigzagoon in play. Also trying to thin my hand here. They're not playing the Radiant Gardevoir at the moment. That helped us out tremendously last time. Oh my goodness. We're going to get rid of our Dark Patches here. Oh, please tell me why. Okay. No, this is still bad. This is still bad. We only have one energy. I, I, I. We need choice belt. No, they play stuff to get rid of. Okay. Can we still be rural here? Oh, no. This is awful. And we can't even... Okay. We wait, and hopefully they just knock out the Zigzagoon here. Though we're losing tempo very quickly. If we can pull off... If we can boss the Giratina, we're in good shape. But we have to boss the Giratina. I'm going to need an energy off of... Oh, no! Why are we getting marty right now? No! <laughs> uh, how many energy cards did I put in this deck? Nine. 
Where is our energy? Whoa. I'm in disbelief. And we're going to lose both our Zigzagoons now. So now we've lost our ability to, to ping damage. I guess we can. We might be able to pull out the Absol. Did we get rid of the Absol? That's our last hope. And we lost... There's the energy. It would have been amazing if we had gotten... Like, I think we have to bench the Absol at this point. Because that's really our only way uh, of getting energy. We do get the boss. Okay. Okay. So here's, here's the play, right? We're going to boss up Giratina. And 220, we're going to have to pop Mooncleave Star on the Giratina. And KO. We don't have any more ways of damage. Yeah, we can one-hit KO Cramorant, which is good. Um, would really like to knock out this Luminion if we can get a... If we can get a, a boss here. How many bosses do we have left? We have one more boss's orders. Okay. Unfortunately, we had the turn one Luminion, so we can't summon it that way. Um, you got this, though? I hope so. And yeah, Ra Raider, six out of nine in the prize pool. Yeah, that would suck. Sorry I was a little slow on answering your message there. Uh, I got kind of caught up in the moment. Got this, though. Yeah, what were you... you and yeah, Bisparn says... It's your Sunday morning game. It's my Sunday morning game, too. Welcome, homie. I hope you, you did well. Did you open any Lost Origin packs? We got... We got... Th th four poke... We got four Giratina Vs, including the alt art, which was phenomenal. And we got one... Palky... We got one Giratina V star. So I'm a little short on that front. They are accelerating another Giratina, which is terrible for us. And I think we have to put... Ugh, I really don't want to do this. I think we have to put Luminion in the active, and they're going to attack with a uh, Cram. I just need this as a shield at this point. Okay. Um... What is the play here? We don't have... I don't have any other way to ping damage. I don't have any other way to summon boss. I think we have to put energy on the Absol. And we, we pray that we can draw what we need here. If there's a third boss... Oh, okay. Can we... Can we knock with the... Ah, oh, shoot. Hmm. Do we boss up now and hit Giratina for... For 100 and... 10, 140. I don't know if that's going to be enough. I don't think it's going to be enough. Um... Let's go like this. I'll play it safe here. We're going to Swirling Disaster. Oh, wait. They have Manaphy on the bench. No. Oh, I screwed that up real bad. I should have. Oh, no. Not again. I should have bossed up the Giratina. Oh, golly. <laughs> Oh, I really want to win against Giratina. I think this Samurott deck can beat Giratina. Um, the first one, I guess bo the, the first game was my fault. I was 10 damage short and I should have done the math better. That time I totally forgot about Manaphy and, and we can't get that damage on, which is horrible. And
and now we're gonna lose our our Luminion for an easy two prizes. And do they get the V Star? No, they don't. Okay. So how many we lost our Zigzagoons? They have four energy here. Uh I can. We can just boss up the Luminion and take two prizes that way. Is that worth it though? Um I think we're just swinging. We're just swinging at the at the Giratina and we pray. Do they have Giratina V-Star in hand? Million dollar question. If they don't, 160 Shred is not going to do it. Nope. Unfortunately, that was our last boss's orders. And now we are in big trouble. Okay, so what what's the play here? Um We still need to take four prizes. This is not I don't want to shuffle their hand cuz they may have What do we even have? Okay, let's get rid of this Marnie and we have we don't have a lot here. <laughs> we have a professor's research, we have a Marnie. I don't even know if it was worth doing Bibrol now cuz we technically Oh, okay. We can at least get this Samurott going and I think we have to retreat. I think we have to retreat. I don't want that Samurott to get hit. I think we're too far behind still, but let's see. Tate and Liza. Yeah, Tate and Liza rotated. Um, it's not... I don't think that card is currently uh, eligible for standard play. But I, I think I remember that from the... One of the theme decks had it. Oh, no. Okay. Mirage Gate? No! I don't think they have the V-Star. I don't think they have the V-Star. Which may keep us in this game a little longer. Yeah, they are accelerating energy to the Luminion. I don't know. Do they run water energy at all? Yeah, they do run water energy. Okay. So, unfortunately for us, yeah, we've lost we're we're going to be short cuz the sableye is going to be able to knock out samurott here um the only thing we can do is marnie and hope yeah we just there's all our energy there's all our energy um darn it the sableye is going to finish us off so I guess we will just accelerate and yeah, we'll just take the, the hit there. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. That sucks. We were close again and they're going to, to take the win. Another heartbreaker against Giratina. Man, I, I swear, I, I am confident that Samurott can beat Giratina. We just haven't done it yet. I think losing the, losing the, the Zigzagoons really hurt us early. But I don't know what, what they're doing here. Because they should have just knocked us out. Yeah, they're, why are they putting up another Giratina? Unless they're just here to show off Mirage Gate and and do that but like they've won i think yeah they just knock out samurai that's it you drop all the points on samurai and they win
uh v stars evolve from v's so there's v and then there's v max and v star and you can evolve either way oh they're just trying to rub it in at this point what are they what are they doing okay i'm gonna put up crowbat and and see what what sort of garbage they are are trying to run here like you literally could have won I have two cards left. Just end this. So both V Star and V Max evolve from V. Yeah. They. What? Dude. No. Wait. Hold on. No, that's not. I'm mad. I'm big mad. I'm big. Like, I'm happy. I am happy we got the win. Why did you throw the game there? Why Why would you... You literally... All you had to do was hit the attack button and click on Samurott 12 times and you won the game. I don't know what, what they were trying to do to be cute. It drops 12 damage counters, right? All right, we win the coin flip, but it's going to very much matter if we get a good starting hand or not. This is not ideal. I We really want an energy attachment here. And I, I am I willing to get rid of Pumpkaboo to do it? Maybe, though I am horrified that this is a, because of the Sobble, that this might be a Palkia deck and they probably run Path to the Peak and we don't have that many answers to Path to the Peak in this deck other than Pumpkaboo. Hmm. What's taking them so long? I'm very curious. I think it's it's imperative though that like path to the peak will, does kind of suck. We do have answers to that, but we don't attach energy. Oh, it's Reggie. Man, how are we getting all the these are all terrible matchups for us. Um Okay, let's get rid of boss. And I will put down a Bidoof. I will get rid of... Oh, this is going to feel bad. Get rid of Pumpkaboo. They may run Path to the Peak, which would be terrible. But again, th these are bad. We've been running into a lot of weird single prize decks. I mean, Reggie Gigas is not weird, but like we're not built to take out Reggie Gigas. Samurott really wants V and V star decks and does not hang with like the the Zoro box deck the um, what's it called what was the uh, the Soul Rock Lunatone deck and, and not even the Regigigas deck is going to be a big problem too so we'll see maybe they set up poorly and that gives us an opportunity we do have an opportunity to to land the first KO here, which could be good, but yeah, this is not ideal. I mean, in for the for the overall health of the game, it is good that there are viable single prize decks in there because there's definitely a time, based on my understanding, particularly in the tag team era of the game, where these cards simply weren't good enough like single prize decks and they pretty much disappeared from the game they didn't do enough damage their health was too low and oh no we're not even gonna get a one hit ko on this okay what we're gonna have to do and i hate this oh we can't even do that i don't want to burn this early but like we kind of need the momentum right so we will moon cleave star reggie steel right now and, and Merciless Blade, take the KO. I didn't want them to have anything else going. 
Although that it still might not be good enough. We might have Marnied them into some good cards. So we shall see. Like, oh, it sucks. We can't we can't KO this thing either. Yeah, we really need. If had I played a Zigzagoon down instead of the Bidoof, we would be better off. But how would I have known? Okay, they did get rid of a Reggie Drago. I'm guessing they only play two of those. So if we can knock this out, then, then we could be sitting pretty. We shall see. Never seen this before? Oh yeah, this is this came out in Astral Radiance, single prize deck. It's it's there are new cards in the current the latest set that just came out this weekend that make this deck even better. And if you can get all the Reggies on the board at once, it's disgusting. And it, it does very bad things to decks like ours. Oof, they get the Reg Ice. We are basically like one Reggie short of just scooping our cards. And they are gonna get their other the other Reggie Drago and the Reggie Steel. Okay. So they they clamp us down with Path to the Peak. We don't like that. However, we don't really need it anymore because we've burned our V-Star power. We don't need the Choice Belt. Scoop Up Net, unfortunately, isn't uh, particularly helpful right this second. What is important, though, is... Oh, I don't want to get rid of any of these cards. Luminion Hurts. Luminion... Ooh. I think we have to burn a Scoop Up Net to get a Zigzagoon. And, and KO. And I'm going to save this Luminion. Oh, we, we can't even save the Luminion because we don't have... We do have Pumpkaboo, so we can take that out if we need to. <clears throat> Let's see what they have. Hopefully, we're, we're just picking off these decks one at a time. Cynthia's ambition to draw a whole bunch of cards. Here's another one. David the Destroyer. After getting knocked out, Cynthia's ambition lets you draw up to eight cards. This is so much better than drawing three. Calfay says, I respect the good single prize decks and a mostly VMAX V-Star meta. Hate playing against them, though. Oh, I absolutely hate. They're so annoying to play against. <laughs> um, so Reggie Gigas is going to accelerate a whole bunch of energy here, and I don't like that, like, one bit. And we're going to have to use a scoop up net, unfortunately, to, to land damage on whatever the next attacker is. It's going to be... And they're going to spread 40 to the bench. So what will they attack? And unfortunately, Path to the Peak is going to shut down. Yeah, Crobat's a good target. And we can't one-hit KO. Ugh. Okay. Here's what we do. I need the scoop because we have to hit this thing. Have to, have to, have to hit this thing. We will get the second Samurott ready to go. Um, I will play the Evo Incense to get a B-Barrel. And we'll draw some more cards. And do we... I think we Marnie here. Hopefully we can get down a a third attacker here. Hopefully with this Samurott. Let's see. How many more Samurots we got? We got two Samurott Vs, one V-Star. Okay. So this is going to be our attack core for the rest of the game. Right here. We've got pretty much... Okay, well, we're all the energy we need, but we're going to need ways of of hitting stuff. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, unfortunately, Samurott without the Zigzagoon pings. Oh, we could have benched. Yeah, Absol might have been handy here. That might have been handy. I don't know if we could afford it, but we are where we are. Okay. How many? We've got potentially one more scoop up net in the deck. It might be in the prizes as well um, before it gets kind of sad. 
Although, do we have another Zigzagoon? We might have a second Zigzagoon in the deck too. So that, that could be very helpful for us here. 160 is going to be enough to knock out this Samurott. Do we want to play Absol Swirling Disaster here and put all the energy? We might actually. And just get all the energy on or like get all the damage counters on to the Regis and mark them for death for the rest of the game. That's actually kind of cool. Okay. Okay. Let's 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 kick the tires on that idea. Let's kick the tires on that idea. We do get Raihan, which is amazing. And I think we're going to use this to grab our last Samurott and have that ready to go. Ooh, actually we have We can't just attack here. Hold on. Um, let's right hand now. Okay. Do I have a scoop up net? Yes, I do have a scoop. Okay. Um, what we'll do then is we will ping this Reggie Drago. We will go into Samurott and just hit. Okay, we might actually need this Absol. <laughs> I think we're going to charge it up. Hopefully get some damage on here. I don't think they're weak to anything. This hits only for VMAX. So I think we'll be okay. We shall see. We shall see. Do we have any energy in the discard? Yeah, we do. Okay. Ugh. Oh, they are out of Pokemon. Uh-oh. Do we... Oh, they're going to draw a whole bunch of cards. Is this going to be enough? Okay. While that's happening, I, I need to send it. There it is, GG's. I wasn't so I was trying to send <laughs> send a message. We'll take the win. Um really proud of that match. Reggie Gigas is super annoying of a deck to fight against and Reggie Gigas is only going to get better in in the current meta with the loss zone. And thankfully for us, the way that our deck was built, we were able to to, to put ourselves in position to have all of our attackers ready to go. We were able to get all our ping damage ready to go. And we even had Absol that was kind of ready to, to strike if it needed to, to either set up damage or even potentially score a KO there. So generally speaking, we're not built to beat single prize decks, but we we were able to get one with, with our boy Sammy here. GG's.